A few years ago, the World Health Organization rang a bell forecasting a global shortage of almost 13 million healthcare workers by 2035. And the pandemic has only made things worse. With over half of the world's population lacking access to healthcare, and more and more frontline workers leaving their job after COVID-19, it's easy to sum up. We are heading towards a healthcare crisis. A few years from now, it might be a luxury to meet a physician. I'm Dr. Bertalan Meshko, and this is a future bit from The Medical Futurist. There will always be fewer health workers trained than needed. As more and more people receive care and our diagnostic arsenal is improving, the number of people diagnosed with chronic diseases will keep on increasing. Similarly, as the number of areas providing healthcare increases, the demand for skilled medical professionals will only grow. Basically, as we are able to provide better healthcare, the more people will need to be treated, and that requires more trained professionals. At the same time, as you're able to provide better care, the population's growth and aging further increases the need for medical professionals. Let's just take a look at the US. There, the population aged 65 and over is projected to grow by more than 45% by 2033. On the other hand, more than two of five currently active physicians in the States will be 65 or older within the next decade. They are now heading toward retirement. And here is the scary part. These numbers have not yet factored in healthcare workers leaving their professions due to COVID-19. As a report on American nurses found, 43% of them consider leaving the healthcare profession this year. And you can expect the same globally. To at least alleviate the problem, the WHO-led initiative had put together a list of recommended actions addressing the human resources problem in healthcare. These include making frontline health services more accessible and acceptable, suggestions to balance the global distribution of healthcare workers, and to improve retention in impoverished countries. They also recommend giving healthcare workers a voice in the development of universal health coverage policies. This is a goal I couldn't agree more on. But although several years have passed since the goals were set, the worldwide shortage of physicians is still unresolved. So, with the issues combined, we need to get prepared for a new era. On the upside, it means an ever-improving quality of care worldwide through the use of advanced technologies. On the downside, there will be larger distances between doctors and patients and even nurses and patients. Basically, we will not be able to talk to a doctor about every single health issue, neither face-to-face -face nor over the phone. Probably, it will be AI-based chatbot systems and other algorithmic solutions that will take over the first line of care. So eventually, you might get access to a physician in person, but maybe while waiting for your appointment, a chatbot will try to help you out and gather information about your case that could be useful for the physician later. Technology is changing healthcare, and it is a good thing. It gives a chance to lead to better doctor-patient relationships, diagnostics, forecasts and analysis to more organized medical settings and streamlined hospital services. But we also need to understand the cultural transformation that comes with it. Because the first line of response will inevitably need to be technological, not personal, saving time for physicians and nurses alike. If you like this video, please leave a comment and subscribe below. Also, please don't forget to tap the notification bell so you will get notified about all new videos. Thank you so much in the name of the whole The Medical Futurist team.